G'day guys, it's Pop and Polyman Astro. Just a quick video today. I thought I'd show off something that I think is exciting that I'm working on at the moment, and that is a script to kind of automate a lot of the 4X palette creation that uh, I do. If you've seen my 4X videos, then you know it takes a bit of time and a bit of pixel math to go through things. Uh, so a script to automate that would be fantastic. The script's currently not available uh, publicly. It, I've just got it working on my system at the moment, uh, but I thought I'd show it off. We'll work on an SHO image firstly. So this is of the fighting dragons of Ara. There's my S, uh, my H, my S, and my O image. Uh, and you'll notice they're already stretched. So I've already gone through a lot of the processing that I do uh, to this point. They, they all have to be stretched uh, and starless, ready to go. And then we have to have the corresponding star images as well. And again, they need to be stretched, uh, ready to go. Okay, so all this script's going to do is just put the 4X image together and the 4X stars together. Um, and then uh, it's up to you to, to combine those into your final image. So I'll show it off. When it's available, it'll be under script, utilities, and down here, 4X palette. So if I click on that, this is what it looks like. Uh, there's a big blurb here, uh, but as I said, basically what it's saying is it expects stretched starless images and the corresponding stretched starred images, and we just select them here. So I'll select the S2, the HA, and the O3, the S2 stars, the HA stars, and the O3 stars, and press execute. Uh, it will create the dynamic background uh, images for us. It'll do some uh, stretching, and then boom, it's created... So it's created that dynamic expression for the O for us. It's created the dynamic expression for the HO. It's created the 4X image. And it's created the 4X stars. Now, I haven't set it up so that it puts them back together straight away. And the reason is maybe you want to do some more work on this image before you put the stars in. Maybe you want to do LRGB combinations and things like that, or some more work with the curves. Now, on that front, it does do some adjustments to the curves. And you, you'll be able to see them in the, the History Explorer here. So if you don't like the curves that it's done and the color saturation boosting, so it's basically boosting some yellows uh, in the image to make them a bit brighter, you can open them up and you can adjust them how you like. This is kind of like a, a starting good point, and then you can adjust it as you like. So that's a standard SHO 4X image. But sometimes we might only have H and O, or we might be using a dual narrowband filter on a one-shot color, as you've seen hopefully in my one-shot color narrowband video. If you haven't, then there's a link in the description. Um, so let's have a look at how we can work with the script on just H and O. Okay, so here's another example with just H and O. Uh, so this is of the, let's go back a bit, the, I think it's NGC 1968 off the top of my head uh, in the Large Magellanic Cloud. And again, I have stretched H and O images and the the corresponding stretched star images. So again, go to Script, Utilities, 4X Palette. And this time, because I've only got two of them, I just pop in the HA and the O3 image. I just leave the S2 as is. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, the script will realize that they're blank and apply the appropriate 4X for just two channels. So all that flashing is it doing um, curves adjustments and so on. So again, it's created the 4X stars, it's created the 4X image, uh, but this time it only created a, oops, it only created a HO image because it didn't need to create an O image for uh, dual narrowband. But again, this is all background machinery now. You don't need to necessarily worry about that. Um, and again, I think it, as a good starting point, it looks quite nice. And you can go into the History Explorer and you can see the curves and color saturation it did. If you didn't like them, you can adjust them and you can work on it and then put the stars back. And finally, it, it'll even work for one shot color dual narrowband images, as I said. So this is Trevor's, Trevor Jones's data from Astro Backyard of his elephant trunk, uh, which I used in my one shot color video. Again, link in the description. Uh, again, these are stretched channels. And all I did was I split the one shot color channels into RGB. This is the R. The, the red component, which I've called HA, and then I chose uh, one of the green and the blue. I can't even remember which one I chose from, from the video now, but I chose one of the green and the blue and deleted the other one and just called the remaining one 03. Um, and again, they're starless and they have their corresponding stars here. And you can see all the steps I had to go through before. I had to create 
the the dynamic expression run the four x create the stars and then at the end i put them back now i can just go to script utilities four x palette and again tell it the ha now you don't have to call it ha03 you can call them whatever you want you just select them here the, the appropriate uh h the red channel you want and the stars and as long as these match and these match doesn't matter what you call them you just pick them from the the drop down menu and press execute and it'll run through all the processing for you and create your stars and i guess we can demonstrate putting the stars back let's i've just got a little um, pixel math off screen here let's put those stars back there you go so it's a lot quicker um, and, and straightforward than running it all yourself and i think it produces a great starting point image. Anyway, hopefully I'll have this script out soon. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching.